The day is finally here. Cork City get to lift the First Division trophy. The volunteers, staff and players are getting ready for a huge day at Turner's Cross. has had many great memories for the Rebels. Oh, what a goal. Oh, oh, superb shot. Sounds for Pulja with the longer strike, and that's a great goal. Oh, what, what a strike. strike. What a strike. What a strike. Rory Keating looking for his 12th of the season. Keating in off the woodwork. City have stolen it. It's such a huge, huge goal for Cork City. Crowds arrive in Cork in their thousands for the game. But there's still work to do before the party at full time. It's a celebration for 42-year-old McNulty as he hits a landmark. City get a hero's welcome from Bray Wanderers. Cork City look to make everyone proud for those here today and those watching proudly with a smile from above. A stalemate in the first half an hour as we have another emotional moment at the cross. Mark McNulty gets subbed as the veteran gets a send off in his last ever game for City after 275 appearances and 17 years of service to the club. He's won it all for the Rebels and retires a hero. First half finishes with very little chances for either side. The League of Ireland side strengthened their connections with the local community at half-time. And ahead of the crossbar challenge, James Duna produces this. Over the last number of years, has been a huge part of the club's success. I think in the last few years. We have a couple of finalists. They all get work on each other in the crossbar. Time for some fun as fans take part in a crossbar challenge. It's a memorable moment for Stuart McCarthy particularly, who hit the crossbar in Turner's Cross earlier in the season. He was then brought to training and he did it again.
just a few fans remain, will anybody match Matthew? Sudden death between Matthew and Sam. And Matthew wins it with the last shot of the evening. It's back to the football for 45 minutes. Not long later, Barry Coffey breaks the it's deadlock. Healy, Healy looking for McLeod. McLeod could be in here. Dylan McLeod now plays it across to Coffey. Yes. Barry Coffey into the shed in. Yes. Putting Cork City 1 0 up. Lovely play from Cork City, lovely ball and through to Dylan McLeod. McLeod, he wasn't selfish, he could have got himself, he played it across for Barry Coffey. And Coffey, cool as a cucumber with the finish. Few moments remain and City look for a second with no avail until this moment of magic from Keating. It's full time and the party begins at Turner's Cross. Cork City make it back into the Premier Division as the thousands celebrate. It's a proud moment for everyone involved, from fans, volunteers, staff and players. The Rebel Army is back with a bang for 2023. Congratulations, Cork City.